Hello, my name's Brian Hunt, and I was going to let you in on a few of my morale hunting tricks by using Google Earth and looking for a spot to hunt from satellite. To download Google Earth Pro on your desktop. This way you get all these little options and a whole bunch more over here we'll get to later. The first thing I like to do is click borders and roads just to give me more of an idea of where I'm at. And let's look for Brown County State Park. Okay, I think we want to begin around Ogle Lake. Everybody's familiar with it. The first place you'd probably start would be the parking lot. Now when we're out hunting, we all know sycamores produce yellows. So we're going to be looking for sycamore trees. And the trick to do that is to go up here to the top and click on this timeline and drop the, the time back until you find satellite images with no leaves on trees. And here we go for 2013. Now the unique feature of the Sycamore trees are, they're all white on top. So when you see all these little white branches starting off, you know you got a sycamore tree. I'll zoom in some more. and see all the, the top of the, the tree are all branched out and all white. And if you go on down the trail, here's a couple more right off the trail. And then when the trail crosses the creek here, you can see there's quite a few all along the trail. And once you find a nice little patch like this, you can just stick the hand amongst the middle of them. And then write down these numbers over here into your phone and it will take you straight to it. Another little health trick, we'll back off a little bit here, <clears throat> is to go up here to tools and click options. And then on this 3D view, go down to terrain and bump this number up to a 2. This would give the terrain, tropical graphic map, and 3D imaging more of a depth so you can see what's really going on and what kind of hills that you might be dealing with. And then you can come back over here and click on terrain. And sometimes you'll lose your spot when the computer adds the program in but when it does you can tell this is a really steep hill by Ogle Lake and then as you move around you can tell this road that goes down to Ogle Lake comes down a steep hill sometimes it helps to move the angle you're looking at So we can see the other side of this big hillside. So you can tell that that is a long ways down. It's steep. Drop down some more here. So with knowing that, you can tell the easiest way to get to those sycamore trees, which are right here, 
would be from the trail from the parking lot another neat option back up a little bit more turn off the timeline and click on this sunlight crossing Here it is at 3.26 p.m. You can tell this steep hillside's all shaded. You can move the timeline back. And then during sunrise, you can see where all the shady spots are. And then if you move it throughout the day, oh, sorry, I'm going too fast here. Let me try moving it back to yesterday. And as you go throughout the day, you can see where the sunny spots are all day long. And those are going to be your early spots. The spots that have the, the more shade will be your later in the season spots. So there you go. A couple of neat little tricks. Hope you enjoyed my little tutorial and happy hunting.